A great library reflects the best aspirations and values of its community. The Cold Spring Harbor Library and Environmental Center exists in a 42-acre wooded state park on the north shore of Long Island. Creating a children's storytime space with six beautiful murals in a circular room which depict local natural habitats has fulfilled one of our library's key goals to have children connect with nature through art. We believe that instilling a love of nature through education and appreciation of art will foster a strong sense of environmental responsibility in the children and adults who visit our library. These lovely murals, painted by Lilith Jones, have sparked an intense curiosity and eagerness to explore nature right in the library's own backyard. In addition to children's story times, this room serves as a great meeting place for school groups. Illustrated guides to the murals provide a valuable teaching resource to a school's environmental curriculum. One of my main goals in designing the murals was to include a feature in each of the scenes that would be appealing to children. In the case of this mural, it was a, uh, a picnic blanket with um, some art items. A lot of kids like to do art, so in fact, when I did finish painting this part, a number of kids pretended that they were picking up the paintbrush and dipping it in the paint and painting. People have noted that the paintings have a nostalgic quality to them, and in fact, parents tend to recall their own childhood experiences in nature when they come in here with their children and talk about things that they experienced when they were young that children hadn't heard before. Having new eyes is just looking for new things in the places that you've been before. So if you guys look around the room, what do you see with your, with your new eyes? It's all about exploring, learning about it, falling in love with it connecting with it, and then sharing that with people. Uh, what's a landscape? A landscape is more like a big open field. And do you guys know what kind of butterfly that is? A monarch. Yeah, sometimes I, I step back and I'm happy with what I've accomplished in a certain area. Really, the best part of it for me is, is just the memories I have of being out in the field and exploring. I hope that parents and children looking at the murals are encouraged to then go out on their own and explore what we have right around us and also be inspired to protect it. If you squish it, you can smell it. Oh, you think it smells like mint? I think it smells like Fruit Loops. I used to call it the Fruit Loop plant when I was a kid. It smells, the twig smells like root beer. This is called spice bush plant. And um, in the mural, there's a caterpillar that you might see when you go back and look. All right, do you know what poison ivy looks like? Mm -hmm. Do you want to see if we can find some? How did you know that was poison ivy? Well, well, I know that it's like shiny and it has three leaves. Three leaves. So you see it's got three leaves on each section and it's kind of shiny and it has these lines in it. All right, so why do you like being in the woods? I like all the beautiful sunset smells. Actually, this tree is pretty big. Do you know, Do you, have you guys met any trees that big around where you live? This might be a couple hundred years old, and it's uh, black oak. What did you think this is? An animal's home. Okay, and what makes I you think, think that? that? Because some animals live in, a, in the ground like that's a hole. Educators, please contact us to schedule a class trip. Plan a visit to the Cold Spring Harbor Library. We'll see you soon.